Are you going to join us? Donnie is the director of the Jazz Outreach here in Las Vegas, better known as Joy. Right? That microphone right there is for you. I'm not playing this instrument. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for having me as well. Uh, my name is Donnie Thompson. I am the executive director, as Jonathan said, of Jazz Outreach Initiative here in Las Vegas. We are a 501c3. We were founded in 2017 by legendary trumpeter and member of Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra with Mike Marsalis, Kenny Ranton. You all remember Kenny from if you were here in uh, August, yeah? So Kenny and I went to high school, we were in band together, and uh, then we went to UNLV together, and our co-founder of Jazz Outreach Initiative is also here in the house, so I'd like to have him stand up and be recognized, Mr. Gary Cordell. Gary makes things work around us because he is our, our vice president of programming, so all of the things that we do basically go through Gary. Um, and then we also have another uh, board member here tonight. Um, we, I'm sure everyone here under, knows who he is. Uh, he is legendary vocalist here and, and uh, Grammy-nominated singer Clint Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> The Jazz Outreach Initiative was created, created for the purpose of going out into the community with outreach, education, and performance opportunities for youth uh, all the way up to adults. And we really focus primarily on a specific segment of youth who may never have an opportunity to learn the joy, pardon the pun, of jazz. And so uh, we've been operating in different kinds of uh, formats. Of course, through COVID, we went all virtual. And over the past couple of years, we've been developing a program called Jazz Roots. And it's a plan of words, R-O-U-T-E-S. And uh, Jazz Roots allows us to do some similar things to what you've seen other nonprofits do, putting instruments in the hands of young people. But we went one step further because most of us being musicians also understand that the most expensive part of having an instrument is not having the instrument, it's learning how to play it. And so together with people here in the community, people like the Swansons over here who are donors and, and members of our Joy Jazz Alliance volunteer organization and others, we are connecting the language of music to the language of life for youth throughout our community. And so I'd like to bring up a couple of people who are here tonight. Um, Kobe and Lauren, would you come up please? <laughs> Krista Yarberry is the executive director of GALS, the Girls Athletic Leadership School. It is a Title I middle school, uh, the only all-girls charter school in Southern Nevada. Wow. Now, I want to also say a couple of words about Jorge, who is not only a friend of Jazz Army Tradition, he's one of our mentors for the Las Vegas Youth Jazz Orchestra and also a member of the new professional Joy Jazz Orchestra that you'll be hearing from very shortly. Uh, Jorge, of course, I know him from all of his work with the UNLV Jazz Ensemble One. He's also um, an acclaimed and nationally award-winning uh, composer. And of course, you know that he's a wonderful trumpet player as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here we have Kobe and her mom, Lauren. And Kobe uh, is the first recipient of Jazz Roots First Instrument. <laughs> and Jonathan, you're gonna love this because this is also Kobe's first ever jazz concert. <laughs> So when we, when we talk about bringing the language of music to the language of life, this is what we're talking about. This is how you can make those kinds of changes in the lives of young people 
and make the world a better place for everyone through music. What you're gonna witness here in a moment is actually the birth of a musician. So, Kobe, no pressure. Don't do it. I'm teasing. Yeah, what, what, what Kobe doesn't realize is that her trumpet teacher is actually here on stage with her tonight. So, Jorge, would you like to come over? And I would like Jorge to hand Kobe her brand new trumpet.